I believe that art is important. I believe in a world where art has value. And I believe that it is possible to build a life around your creativity, if you're willing to do the work. But sometimes, even when we work at it, we still get in our own way, maybe even in ways we can't see. So if you're feeling frustrated with your efforts to get your work seen and sold, I wonder what's getting in your way. Now, this is where a lot of artists start telling me about a lack of time or money or self-confidence, and I get that. But those are excuses, limitations that you are allowing to stop you by giving them credence. My name is Krista Cloutier, and I'm the founder of The Working Artist. Part of my job is to help artists to get out of their own way. And if you're open to trying, I want to help you. So I'm going to be asking you five questions. To start, answer me this. How do you want your art to be seen? By that I mean, who do you want to be looking at your work? Is it crowds of buyers, a select group of curators, only yourself and your beloved? Where do you want to show it? In museums, fancy galleries, funky pop-ups, or just your studio? What kinds of conversations do you want people to have about your work? So when I ask, how do you want your art to be seen? I mean whatever that vision is for you. The details will come later. How do you want your art to be seen? Now, the second question I have is, how would this make you feel? I know, it sounds silly, because having your art seen in the way you allow yourself to imagine would make you feel good, right? But let's go deeper. When your work is being seen in this way, how do you feel? Do you feel more creative, more free, more accomplished? Or maybe you're after the feeling of wealth or even pride. What is it for you? There's no right or wrong. There's only what's authentic and what's not. The reason I ask you this question is because it identifies your why. When you can identify why you hold this vision, what that feeling is you're after, you can create more of that feeling in your life, and it will make your journey so much easier. You'll stop wasting time chasing bright and shiny, and you'll focus on the truth, the impulse that's pushing you to make art. It's about learning to trust yourself. A couple of years ago, I felt unsatisfied with my own creative life. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was collaborating with international artists on significant projects that had a great deal of meaning for me. And I was selling that work to museums and galleries all over the country. It was really cool. But feelings don't lie. And mine were telling me to have more freedom, to engage more passionately with my own creativity. It was scary as hell but I trusted that small voice that told me to jump. And I stepped into those feelings I wanted, freedom and creativity and service. That's how I was able to get out of my own way to build a new career. But every artist's path is unique. What's the feeling you want to chase? Now it's time to ask the third question. In what ways do you feel like this now? Seriously. For example, if you're driven by wanting the feeling of creative fulfillment, where do you feel creative fulfillment in your life right now? Own it. Step into it deeper. Try to bring more of that feeling into your life. Be it. And if you're driven by a desire to feel wealthy, but the numbers just don't add up, think about where you are wealthy. If you're watching this, Chances are you've got food and shelter and electronics. Bless what you do have instead of cursing what you don't. You know, I meet a lot of artists who eat, breathe, sleep, art, but they feel limited. They're limited by things such as their dislike of networking or social media. Do those things limit you? Because my fourth question is, when it comes to creating more of this feeling in your life, what limits you? And whatever it is, find a way around it. Consider different ways to think about it, to interact with it. 
Maybe you're shy and afraid of networking. If so, you might overcome your shyness by just working online. Those avenues are open. Maybe you fear rejection, so you play small and limit how vulnerable you allow yourself to be. Let me tell you, that's a very natural fear. But the truth is, not everyone is going to like your stuff, and it has nothing to do with you, nor your talent. People bring their own experiences, aesthetics, and understandings to art. Your job is to make art and to share it. Focus on that and stop limiting yourself by things that are out of your control. And remember, our limitations are here to help us develop, to help us grow, not to keep us stuck in one place. So face your limitations head on. You know, when I decided to build an online business school for artists, I didn't have any money, like none. So I turned to the traditional business world. But all of those bankers and venture capitalists kept asking was how was I going to make a lot of money as soon as possible so I could sell the business and make them a tidy profit. Don't get me wrong, I want to be successful. But like most artists, I'm not really motivated by money. I mean, I like it, but it's not the feeling I truly want to chase. The feeling I wanted to chase was to be of service using my creativity. That's what drove me. So I said no to their money, even though money was my limitation. But real artists never quit, do we? Artists are the most tenacious people I know because we're driven by something bigger than ourselves. So I raised the money to build my online art business school through crowdfunding. Talk about facing your fears. But I worked really hard, and through the generous donations of artists all over the world, here we are, just a few years later, and the working artist has already served artists in 35 different countries. What I'm trying to say is this. Don't stop. If you're stuck, explore different resources. Just keep going. And don't be afraid of failing, because you know what? You will fail. That's a given. Artist Vic Muniz is one of the biggest names in the art world, and he told me that when we see him succeed, it's only because those are the times he failed to fail. Creative people fail. It's part of the deal. Failure is the wrong question. The right question is my fifth question. Are you going to go for it? Are you going to jump? Or are you going to quit? That's all that matters. Don't quit. Just keep following your why, that feeling you're creating more of in your life. Let nothing stop you. No apologies, no excuses, no limitations. Just jump. Jump. Now in the comments below, I want you to tell me how you want your art to be seen. Share it with the world and let's watch it come true.